the Center for Discovery and Innovation was created um, as an academic-based translational research institute within Hackensack Meridian Health, which is the largest healthcare system in New Jersey. And it was established to be able to address unmet medical needs for patients with cancer and infectious diseases. The CDI has experienced just remarkable growth. Um, we've grown to 27 uh, laboratories, all state-of-the-art. Um, 180 scientists and staff have been recruited in just a short period of time. Dr. Perlin and his team uh, now hold grants in excess of $175 million. We identify a clinical problem and we bring to the table all the stakeholders and all of the people who can create solutions. That's our clinicians, our academic scientists, and industry partners, whether they be diagnostic companies, device manufacturers, pharmaceutical companies, biotech companies, put them all in a common environment, a common ecosystem, and create the solution. It's critical to the success of the center to work uh, with industry because we work at a much more rapid pace than usual, and we get the perspective of real life problems from industry. And at the end of the day, let's face it, industry is going to commercialize this. They will do development. So we want to make sure that there's a seamless transition. People in academia think different than people in industry. And I basically believe that there's a common ground here where there's going to be immense uh, benefit from that collaboration. What's really unique here is the vision, the integration, the synergy, and the opportunity that this is going to offer us as, as we go forward. We want to be able to prevent disease. We want to be able to diagnose diseases faster, more efficiently, and most importantly, for patients who develop drug-resistant infections, we want to create solutions in real time to be able to address those patients. In the early part of the pandemic, the Center for Discovery and Innovation was one of the first groups to develop a rapid, high-throughput RT-PCR assay that could be used to diagnose patients. We developed one of the early convalescent plasma programs, which was highly successful. We had close to 90% success rate in preventing patients who presented into our intensive care unit in progressing to severe disease. We developed a high throughput um, variant analysis program where we could look at specific genetic signatures that were indicative of specific viral variants of concern. By doing this, we could uh, help our clinicians better treat patients who are presenting into our emergency departments and also perform uh, public health service by working with the Department of Health and CDC to better understand circulating viruses in our region. And this led to then partnerships with companies like Merck and others to be able to profile drugs uh, that would then become some of the first antivirals that were approved uh, by the FDA for therapeutic use. COVID-19 it's one of several major infectious diseases that we have dealt with already in the 21st century. There will be others. And when you have centers like this of excellence that are already functioning and can respond very rapidly, you can think of them as part of humanity's defense mechanism against things that are thrown by nature. The Center of Excellence in Translational Research is an NIH-funded program created to be able to develop next-generation uh, antibacterials to overcome multidrug-resistant bacterial infections. We can create molecules which we can then move rapidly through the drug discovery process into preclinical, into clinical development. When the Center for Discovery and Innovation creates solutions for unmet medical needs, We've talked about how we bring all the different partners to the table to address a problem. The Metropolitan Antiviral Drug Accelerator was created to be able to develop next generation, small molecule antiviral drugs that could be used in the outpatient setting to be able to treat patients with SARS-CoV-2, 
other coronaviruses and, and other pandemic viruses in partnership with Rockefeller University. And I co-direct the program with Nobel laureate, Dr. Charles Rice, Columbia University, Memorial Sloan Kettering, Rutgers University, Yale University, Princeton University, uh, University of Arizona, and the University of California in San Diego with commercial partners, Merck, Takeda, and Alagos, who are all committed to developing these next generation antivirals. It really creates a consortium of experts that have synergistic uh, capabilities and expertise that can respond quickly to infectious disease challenges and come up with solutions. The goal is really to create a discovery ecosystem among commercial, clinical, and academic professionals that would you know, sort of break down these traditional silos of, of expertise that need to be really brought together uh, to accelerate uh, drug discovery. So we need to be able to bring our science into the clinic quickly and effectively. And we have to be able to change our mindset about how we create solutions for patients. As academic scientists, we need to be part of the process and we need to be part of creating these solutions.